back, boss! What's going on, Ron? They were here for you! Here! For you! A few moments later... I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out! Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you! I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-power scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. <laughs> Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. That's the rifle I need. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. Okay, there's the scope. Stop selling weapons to that half-wit Cletus. Non-refundable, I should add. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Did I get wrong? I'm waiting at the water tower. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Come up! We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Really? The time is right. Go on, my son. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it! Now, relax! The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road! You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! by the tower taken care of keep moving make yourself useful hurry it up Ronnie you hear that I can hear an engine they'll see that body quick shoot out the lights on the tower above him come on man there's one and there's the other lights off good now don't smoke the guy in the van until he stops and gets out man wants to pay his respects, I ain't one to cut that short. You should have seen the look on his face. Wait! A guy came out of the control tower. Get him quick! Woo! Down he goes. Oh no! 
bottom of the tower. Another guy's on his way. Clean shot, Trev. There's another guy at the top of the tower. He's probably looking for his buddy. He's gotta go. And they all came tumbling down. Can you get your sights back on me? Come on, man. Let's pick up the pace, Ron. You're in my crosshairs again. There's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building. He's come out. Good kill, Trevor. Sneak up on me, okay? And whatever you do, don't hit the tank. Please, man. Someone's coming. He's gonna get me before I finish. This is it. He clocked me. A bolt from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper, incoming. I've always hated that chopper. Just fucking drive. You're bikers. It's looking for us, T. We ain't gonna get him guns when they got tactical superiority. If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here. Try and hit the pilot when he's settled. They might think he crashed. Might they? They might. That chopper's gonna be on us. We don't take him out. This kind of hardware is gonna go. 
And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. I assume you got all kinds of connections in Canada. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Approximately 10 hours later. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, uh, uh, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I was. Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Or would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal, and I'll rely on you getting there quicker. You're braver than I thought. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this. But does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce, and my settlement costs... Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. Six and a half hours later. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. Was... Three days later.
Thank you.